I certainly think the government needs to regulate the use made of genetic information uh, because if it doesn't, we're going to get into a situation where uh, rich people can buy information that enables them to select certain, among a variety of embryos, uh, select the best children or the children with the most talents, and poor people are not. And I think that's going to produce a society that's even more sharply divided along lines of rich and poor than our society is today. And I don't think we want or should want such a society. So on the genetics matter, I do think there's a need for regulation. On the use of stem cells for research, um, the only regulation that I would see would be if anyone were going to use them for reproductive purposes. But I don't think that that's very likely. I don't know anyone who's focusing on that. So um, if stem cells or embryos are to be used to remove stem cells and the stem cells are then going to be uh, used for research and destroyed or not allowed to develop into uh, uh, an embryo and then a fetus and a child, uh, I really don't see much need to regulate that. My defense of abortion is, is unique because it does not try to draw a sharp distinction between the fetus and the infant. Uh, it acknowledges the point that opponents of abortion make that there is simply a gradual development of the human being that continues during the first months of life after birth as well as beforehand. Uh, so I think the question about abortion we should ask is not, is the embryo or fetus a living human being? Because I think the answer is undoubtedly yes, it is. The, the question is, uh, what characteristics or capacities does a being have to have in order to make it the case that that being has a serious right to life. And when we ask that question, I think it's not hard to see that the answer when it's a member of the species Homo sapien is not really a very persuasive answer. Uh, why should membership of one particular species be determinative of whether you have a right to life or not? So if we reject that answer, then we're going to have to look at the characteristics of the beings um, and say, are these characteristics such that if you have them, you have a right to life, and if, and if you don't, you don't? And uh, I think we can explore what those characteristics might be, but the most important point is to break away from the idea that it's membership of our species in itself that really is the morally crucial marking line, dividing line. Mm -hmm.